let's give this a shot. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to make uh, this style of little uh, bubbler, you know, for glub glubbing, if you know what glub glubbing is. Um, no, this is a, just like a little um, water pipe, just a small one. Um, for, this is a one pounder. We're going to do one and a half today, but um, you get the idea. <clears throat> I think this one behind me here, this one it was a uh, one and a half pounder, maybe. Yeah, about one and a half pounder. So this is probably the size that we're going to do today. So, let's get started. Um, I'm going to throw these on some bats. I'm just going to... this going here. It's raining super hard here today. Probably will hear that in the background. But there's nothing I can do about that. I'm in a little shed, so. Okay. Go ahead and get started. <coughs> this is one and a half pounds of porcelain. Wedge this so I'm going to do a couple extra cones up and down. unwedged clay you can usually feel when it's ready after a few uh, conings. Uh, it goes from kind of feeling lumpy to feeling homogenous. So. That's probably good. Uh, an open little flatter. the sponge for moisture and my fingers to open. I open pretty close to the bottom there. Um, these don't, don't get trimmed so you know a little less than a quarter inch. Just open it up to your desired uh, width there. go ahead and use a rib to compress the bottom. Just gonna tighten it up there. <clears throat> and these um, these little guys feel pretty good in the hand. You've got a, uh, I've got a monkey face as the carb here. Um, but no, they're super easy to hold. And, uh, I mean, come on. It's awesome. So, <clears throat> we're going to do our uh, first pull here. And then we're going to pull up and in towards the, the center. shape started here right from the beginning. Um, 
all the opening still big enough to fit a sponge in. Go ahead and sponge out the interior. And then uh, I'm just going to refine this shade. This is kind of like a Erlenmeyer flask style, um, or no, Erlenmeyer flask? No, this is a beaker. A beaker? No, I don't know. One of those two. I think it's an Erlenmeyer flask uh, style design here. And. Uh, when I'm making these, I, I uh, close the upper part up um, you want it to be big enough for the next pieces to go inside and you'll see that um, but basically since you're going to be throwing a downspout that goes down inside you're going to want um, enough room for that downspout to be able to fit into the top part. So, um, I just leave some. It's more than I think as far as the opening is concerned, but um, once you get the downspout in there, it kind of takes shape, so we'll see here. So just going to straighten out the outside edge here. straight up into that Erlenmeyer flask style uh, shape, kind of just a cone. Something like that. And then um, this is a little tall for my liking, this uh, neck part, so I'm going to, I'm just going to cut the top of the neck off a little bit there. There we go. <clears throat> just round out that top edge there. Use a sponge. And that's your basic shape. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw probably like uh, another three of these. Uh, super fast mode and then we'll get on to uh, throwing all the other parts for it because this is a four part yeah four part uh, throwing session same as a teapot all right set this aside and super speed Okay, so that's step one done. We got the bodies thrown. So, um, next is all the pieces to do. So, we need a mouthpiece, we need a downspout, and we need a bowl for each one. So, since they're so small and stuff, we're going to throw them off the hump. Um, 
grab a somewhat clean bat here. Um, I just grab a chunk of leftover clay. It's probably like six pounds or so. Um, definitely won't need that all. So I'll probably throw something with the rest of it after I'm done throwing off the hump. So, ugh. sizable chunk of clay. Just pat it into place. So I was, uh, I'm going to throw the downspouts and the uh, mouth pieces the first. So just grab yourself a nice little chunk of clay there off the top of the hump. Just open it down. <clears throat> this is just going to be like a thin cylinder shape, so... I'm gonna do though first. I'm gonna get a bat ready to receive these pieces. So set that aside so I can cut them off and add them to the plop them on the bat so they can dry up. So just um, pulling a really tall thin cylinder. Get this bottom part thin first, because um, I won't be able to reach down into it afterwards. So the bowl piece, I mean the downspout and the mouthpieces are pretty much the same. Um, they taper at the bottom. That'll be the uh, attachment point. And then uh, just pull them nice and long and straight. I'm not very good at this, so I might screw up a few. But I got six pounds to work with, so I don't mind. That's thin enough on the walls there. So we're going to start collaring it in. And just uh, very slowly collar this entire cylinder in. Trying to keep as much uh, points of contact as I can while I'm collaring. I try to keep six points of contact, so um, in this case, it's like this. So two points or four points of contact with my thumbs and 
first fingers and then the knuckles of my middle fingers. So it makes kind of like a little trap for the clay. <coughs> so we'll just do one more of those. There we go. We'll just grab our rib here, kind of touch up the outside surface without wobbling it too bad. So there's the first piece. <clears throat> um, before you cut it off, dry off your hands. to about and then start on the next one. So I'm just going to throw all the um, all the down stems and the, the um, mouthpieces at once here and then go super speed. So three, two, one, super speed. So, <clears throat> there's all the down stems and mouthpieces. Um, which one will become which, we'll decide at a later point when we attach everything. So, now is uh, time to, let's see what we got here, we got, yeah, looks good. Uh, we got time for throwing all the bowl pieces. So these are really easy. These are just a small, uh, just basically little tiny little itsy bitsy bit thimble type cups. Um, just throw some of those. Um, I throw a closed form upside down. So you'll see that here. Um, really nothing too complicated. Um, same thing off the hump. So. Just uh, grab yourself just a teeny bit of clay here, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll just open it up into a cylinder. Just uh, like that. And then you just close it, close it at the top. In a bit. We don't need to bowl that big. All right, and there is our first one. So we'll just touch it up here. Something a bit like that. So just going to throw uh, four of these. And then uh, we'll get our, um, actually we'll have to wait overnight usually for everything to harden up a little bit and then we'll put it all together. 
So um, I'm going to go super speed here and knock out a couple of these. Alright, so that's all the <clears throat> bowl pieces and the downspouts and mouthpieces. Um, now that everything's all thrown, we're just going to let it set up overnight and uh, I'll magically um, see you uh, tomorrow, which will be in about three seconds from now. So I will see you then. Alright, time to put these bad boys together, huh? So let's just grab one of these and start assembling. So first I'm going to do the uh, down stem and bowl. So just uh, we've got all our pieces here. So just going to grab some. You just kind of have to judge, you know, how deep this is going to go. You don't want it to touch the bottom, but you want it to be fairly close. I think this one will do just fine. So, for the down stem, kind of put it in there. It'll, it'll mark where it's going to hit. Um, this is pretty uh, soft still, um, but with this porcelain it's better to have it soft, so I'm not going to even um, score this part. I'm just going to be scoring um, around the inside here. Actually, I'll do a little bit here too. I just grab some slip from my splash pan here, put it around the edge, drop that in fairly straight and squeeze it down. And then uh, I'm just going to gently push it into the part here. To get it nice and, uh, actually, I'm going to try to center this up just a little bit better. Okay. <clears throat> then, and actually, for this, I'm just going to put the master bat back on. So now I'm just going to cut this off about a centimeter above the cut there. Okay, now I just grab a sponge. Contact. It'll leave a little mark inside. Score that. Just gonna give this some scores here. <clears throat> Again with some slip. Give 
Getting some nice pressure there. <clears throat> <clears throat> and again with the sponge, just uh, smooth it over. Make it nice. There's the bowl and down stem all taken care of. Now we'll um, we'll put the mouthpiece on. This is going to be tricky just because um, this is all still fairly soft, but. Um, See where we need to cut away so that it sits flush on there. Right, and then you want it to be fairly high up on the collar. Um, you don't want water bubbling up into it, so. Keep that in mind. That'll be the same for the carb, which we'll do. We'll do a monkey carb, just so you can see how I do those. Anyway, score around there. <coughs> and put in your hole. And then score and slip. This to be a fairly strong, well you want all your bonds to be strong, but this especially because people will use this as the handle too, and you don't want it coming off when you're about to take a big fat rip or whatever, whatever you kids do with these. <clears throat> Alright, scored, grab some slip. Give it a little shake into place there. Smooth pressure, even. <clears throat> You'll feel it kind of catch once there's an attachment. And um, I'm going to smooth this out later. This is good for now, though. Okay, now for the carb. <clears throat> Let's see, I gotta find my monkey. There he is. Okay. So this is just a plaster cast of a toy. It's got some slip in it right now, but um, just a plaster cast of a toy monkey. So I'm just gonna use his head. Piece of clay here from what we cut off. Just jam it in there nice and tight. Just like that. The plaster is really absorbent, so the monkey wants to pop out right away with the first one. But I want to get all the details of his face in there, so press it in, pop it out, <clears throat> give it a little trim up. Just cutting 
turn this head off. Something like that. <coughs> okay, and that goes directly opposite of the Corn slip. So after this gets to leather hard or so, I uh, take a drill with a drill bit and I drill out the carb in his mouth and then I drill out the bowl there and that's about it. It's a three millimeter, no, four millimeter drill bit that shrinks down to just over three millimeters. I found that that's like kind of like the perfect sweet spot as far as um, uh, hole sizes are concerned. So, yeah, those are my little monkey, monkey pipes, monkey uh, bubblers. Thanks for watching.